I'm with Pete Bergstrom, Rising Morning, Hobby. Ed. Good morning, how are you? Good, very good. We're talking about the business end of things here in the model aviation world. There's some beautiful gas engines here. Uh, tell us about the ZP line, Pete. The ZP line of engines is built around a uh, core Zenoa engine. We buy basically short blocks from Zenoa, and then we've added our own prop drivers on there. We've added an electronic ignition that's made for us by RCXL. And so what we're trying to do is give the ease of starting from that comes with electronic ignitions and without the magneto, with all these different things, the weight reduction we've gotten has been tremendous. 62 cc is 14 ounces lighter than it was before. The GT80 is now 23 ounces lighter than it was before. So we get the additional reliability. You can use a 2S LiPo battery on our ignitions, which nobody else has got right now for that, with no regulator and we added an actual muffler that works and fits inside of cowls. Right. So you got weight savings plus the added uh, reliability of the, of the electronic ignition. ignition. Uh, looking really good for yeah. this line. Yeah. yeah, it makes it easier to start. A little bit more power because the timing's perfect for it now. And okay, that's a beautiful thing. Thank you. And Pete, some, some machining and manufacturing marvels here. Of course, they're just as beautiful to look at, I'm sure. Oh, as I know it, running yeah. Running in front of a model aircraft. Uh, the seven cylinder 160cc gasser. Right. I mean, <laughs> this is. The darn thing almost speaks for itself. <laughs> you know, just looking at yeah, it. Yeah, just Tell get in a close up or something like that. It. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The, uh, the 160 is a smaller version of the 260 that we had out last year. Okay. Fits into a lot smaller cowls. It's only an 11 inch diameter engine, so it'll fit into. We've got it here on the Beast right now, as a matter of fact, and oh, it fits okay. into that. Um, it's got a. Uh, it's a really long stroke engine design, so couple that with a radial design, so there's a ton of torque. These We're like to run prop size on, the, uh, prop size on this, about 2614 to okay. 2814. You want to run a little bit more pitch because you're only going to get around 46 to 5200 yeah, RPM. Lower RPM. Lower range, RPM, right? so you get that sound that comes from a real engine RPM right. range. Um, they all come with a collector ring. This one comes with the collector ring included. The 260 also has a collector ring included. And then our glow engine versions are the collector rings are available but not included with the price. Right. Um, so we tried to hit all of this and still give everybody an attainable price. Mm -hmm. So the, the price range anywhere from $1,200 essentially up to $3,400 for this one. For the 260. For the 260. Right. So it gives you an, a... Uh, for the guys that maybe didn't think that they could ever afford a four thousand dollar radio, maybe they can for twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. It brings, it into, brings uh, it into a little bit more of a run. I can put away a hundred dollars a month and get right, that engine. Exactly. I couldn't put away five hundred dollars. Of course, I mean these the one sixty and the two sixty. If you've got a giant scale warp oh. or a giant scale round cowl pattern, plane, this is the you know, ultimate scale detail it's kit. It's just a wonderful addition to any uh, any aircraft like that, and uh, you surely won't be disappointed from Horizon Hobby with these radios. No.